we are up against is four very, very difficult uh, crystals. That's the best way to put it. Up against the four crystals. Okay, so what we need to do, first and foremost, to counter these physical attacks, which are doing a number on us, to be honest with you. They are doing quite a number. We need to summon Golem, which I know I had summoned before, but I never really got a chance to show him off uh, very well. We're also going to summon Titan. Uh, Titan uh, is going to be our damage dealer here, and I want to keep track of how much damage we are doing. Once they get under 3,000 HP, of course, uh, that is where, um, as where they start going into pissy boss mode. Uh, so I I do know how much damage we need to do. We need to do just over uh, 4,000 damage. So let's see how much Rain is, is doing here. Okay, uh, 1,500 to 1,700. The one on the bottom is being cured. That is going to happen. Everybody is cured. Uh, no. And now we are protected against physical attacks, which I will show off as soon as that happens. All right, so about 3,000 there. Um, we can do... As, as you can see, we are being uh, bombarded by physical attacks, but we are being protected from that. Okay, here, now, right now, I'm waiting. I'm going to wait until everybody's uh, ATB bar fills up. There we go. Okay, wait for that one. There we go. Okay, Titan. Now I'm going to use Titan all across the board, all from everybody, as soon as the one on the right goes. Uh, that is the strategy. The one on the uh, bottom is going to be healed by it, but I'm hoping that I can finish everybody else off um, before they get their pissy little boss mode going. All right, Titan again. Come on. I'm hoping that the, the four Titans together can do this for me. One more. Is this going to be enough to take out the crystals? If not, I am screwed. Down they go! Whew! Okay. Now this is going to be a cakewalk. I swear to God, it is. We have pretty much won this battle. He cannot damage us because we are floating and because um, we are being um, protected by Golem from physical attacks. So that worked out well for me once again. Um, damn, is that really all that does? Holy crap. Uh, what can we do? Is Rama better against him? What is good against him? How about Shiva? Let's just go across the board and see what's good. Uh, that's going to be no good. It doesn't really matter what we do against him. We just need to do damage against this last guy. Uh, we will see as, as we'll get to eventually. Did that do no damage? How about Diamond Dust? Is that going to do anything to him? Is it really just going to be it for it? If it is, then that sucks. It looks like it's just Ifrit. Okay, I think I can do more damage uh, just attacking him. This is probably going to take a while, though. Uh, he, what was that, 260? That was... And we keep missing? Are you kidding me? Jitterbug! Okay, no, we, we do less damage that way. Okay, so this is going to take a while because he has quite a bit of HP. We just need to whittle it down with Ifrit, I'm afraid, because nothing else seemed to be doing damage to him. And uh, I will try to do physical attacks with Bart since that was uh, that can work out really nicely since he's still on the Dancing Dirk. Uh, but like I said, uh, this crystal can no longer damage us. It's really just a matter of time now. And I'd like to show that off eventually. Basically, uh, once they get under 3,000 HP, and they do have uh, 7,777 HP, uh, once they get uh, under 3,000, they start spamming high-level magic at you, each of a different element. This guy here, uh, should he get under 3,000 HP, is going to use an attack known as Earth Shaker. And Earth Shaker is, of course, an Earth Elemental attack. And since we're floating, we're going to be immune to that. Should he ever want to show it off? But once again, this could take a while uh, because of how little damage we're doing to him. I might run out of HP, MP here. That is not a good sign. I don't like that at all. 
how, how little damage we're doing to him, but nobody else did anything. So we'll just keep going for Ifrit here. 500 more, you know, Temp Tango. Yeah, I don't think we can confuse this guy. Um, that is, really is just a matter of timing. When you're going to go for all four uh, Titan summons, uh, you want it to be as close to uh, 3,000 HP left as you can get without being under that, because of course if you're under that, they can kill you in two shots. Uh, one guy casts Aqua Lake, another guy casts Arrow 3, I forget what the top one casts, uh, but this guy casts Earthshaker. Uh, so you're pretty much screwed if uh, two of these guys gets their, get their attacks off, your team is uh, dead. Now you need to fight. If you can get a sword stance off, that would be greatly appreciated, Barts. Because this is taking way too damn long, and even as a even as a summoner, uh, he should be able to get around uh, 1,800, 1,500 to 1,800 damage with the uh, with the sword stance. I would think. Uh, Nope, still not under 3,000. This this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Um, like I said, I had never done this strategy before. I'd always gone and leveled up for you know 10 levels, and then that made everything else pretty pretty easy for me. Um, of course, I didn't have the best setup uh, going into this fight. Uh, out you know before we went for the summoners, you know, um, I could have gone for let's say a sorcerer. Uh, with bards and then a couple better stuff uh, in terms of dealing damage, but really uh, I, I, I did not stand a chance uh, At the levels that I'm at so without doing a set amount of, of level grinding that would make me weep uh, There we go Earthshaker. So he is finally under 3000 HP and as you saw we are immune to it because we are floating uh, I don't believe we will learn Earthshaker. I do think actually that is a blue magic I think you can learn blue magics from everybody here. And as you can see, they he can cast it quite often. He, he already casted it twice, um, and I only got one of my four party members to get a turn. That tells you how often that's going to happen. If you could get a swords dance now, that would be greatly appreciated, Bart. No. No, you didn't. But the Jitterbug is doing more damage than I think it would. 250, still not enough for the win. I'm kind of hoping for, you know, 500 or so damage. But we, we are whittling him down. That is the good thing. Unfortunately, that does mean that this fight's going to take an excessive amount of time. And I do apologize for that. But, like I said, this is a strategy that will help you avoid level grinding. And if you're like me, you don't like doing the level grinding very much. Uh, we'll, we'll do it at the end. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not going to avoid it altogether, but... Uh, at this point in the game, I, I felt like it was kind of a douche move to, to have you level grind. And down he finally goes. Yes, and you get 15 ability points for that, which is all wasted on everybody but Gallif because we're all summoners. Bart's gains. Yeah, everybody receives a job level, so everybody can summon. Hooray. Good job, team. You learned things I didn't really want you to learn, but that's okay. We won, um, and, and I can do that later. Oh, more ash. Hooray. Like I said, that's practically useless. I think it can be mixed, but that's pretty much it. So we have defeated the crystals. Very, very nice. Well done. Just what I expected from warriors with the crystals' power. Let me thank you. What? We're, we're not done? Holy crap! It's X-Death! You see, you four just broke the seal for me. Uh-oh. What? The crystals! The crystals' power that once bound me will now be mine! Bow! Bow down before me! And the crystals! This does not look good. This doesn't look good at all. <laughs> We're... Why? Why did I have to win? Uh, my heart's pounding. It's Grandpa. They're in trouble. The Moogle knows where they are. Koopa, what? They're in more forest, of course. Of course they know. Dragon. 
We have to go. We have to go save him, dragon! Why doesn't the dragon have a name now that I think about it? Ferris is one dead. Now die! No, he's up the intensity somehow. It doesn't really look like it though. But he did! I know he did! And in comes Krill. Didn't, didn't look like Krill, to be honest with you. Grandpa Bart, Rena Ferris. There's Krill. D I don't know exactly what happened, but Krill somehow stopped it. What about X Death? It's all right. He should be out for a while, huh? No, he's back. He's back. How the hell is she managing to do this? Can you join my party, Krill? Seriously. Good one. Oh shit! Flame shield, go! She's she's surrounded. Stop! What are you doing? He's killing you because you hurt him. Die! Oh, that does not look very good. That looks pretty painful. And it's on the little girl. How dare you, Ax Death? Grand Grandpa. Krill. Oh, that is that doesn't look good. Oh. Gallif no longer cares. How dare you hurt my granddaughter? Think, Gallif. Resist, and the crystals are powder. Krill. No, Krill. Get... And down goes one of the crystals. But... Gallif has saved her. And sacrificed himself. X death. And it's boss time yet again. We're up against X death. And oh shit, we cannot lose. Let's just go for Titan. You see how much damage that did? Gallif just doesn't give a shit about your battle system anymore, game. Does not care. He says it doesn't matter how much damage you do to me. <laughs> I will live. Just keep on doing as much damage as you can. Yeah, this is a fight that you cannot lose. Simply because Gallif says you cannot lose it. How awesome is that? I can't think of an another game that really does that, to be honest with you. I might have to use... This, this, I don't know if this is going to work out well for me since he's still a summoner. I'm running quickly out of MP. Uh, I can't even do another Titan summon. Alright, let's go for... If, if that doesn't work, then we'll have to, uh, we'll have to, cha we'll have to use uh, Ethers as necessary. Because I think he's still on the healing rod. This is another fight that pretty much just takes a lot of... Uh, no, he can't be on the healing rod. This just takes a lot of time. Holy crap, is that really all it's going to be? <laughs> I don't remember how much uh, HP... I think that I do have to do a set amount of uh, damage to him, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and use one of the ethers, and I think that should give him 50? 40? That is crap. Yeah, I don't care what kind of shit you do, Axe Death. I don't care. Yeah, go ahead and cast Demi. See how that works out for you. Let's go for another Ether so I can at least get a couple summons off. Not when I have to use an Ether like every fucking turn. But I think we can get three off now. Maybe four? Nah, three. Okay. That is good enough. Go, Earth Fury. More Titan. Titan does so much more damage than anybody else right now. It is not even close. It's, that's why he costs over double everything else. <laughs> why do you keep trying to damage him? Gallif doesn't give a shit about your damage X death. He's just here to kick your ass and take your name, which is X death, which is still kind of weird. Oh no, Demi. It, like I said, flat percentage. <laughs> zero times any flat percentage is going to be zero. Is this enough for the victory yet? I know he's got a lot of HP, but still. No, nope. Take that! Vac wave! Not Vac wave, no! <laughs> Once again, Gallif just doesn't give a shit. 
just one more ether. That should be enough, I would think. No, I'm really mad. And now you die. Flare. Damn. Look at Flare. It's way too early for Flare. Holy. Flare and holy. Damn, X-Death is packed. And Meteo, the forbidden magic. Well, it's not forbidden in this game. But it does, what, three hits of... Holy shit, that was powerful. Gallif seriously does not give a shit. Not dead yet. Not yet. It's not my time to die. I'll win, X-Death, even if it kills me. Now, now I'm starting to think that... Yeah, no, I need to do... Yeah, neither rage nor hate alone will defeat me. I think I do need to do a set amount of damage. I'm starting to think I just need to weigh it out, but I don't think that's how this works. Alright, um... Yeah, we got two Ifrits left in me, so... We'll see. Go, Ifrit. X-Death is huge, by the way. That is one giant-ass tree. This is not... Mere rage or hate. What is it then, Gallif? What is it? Can you teach me the secret so that I also never die? No, he's not going to do that. He's not going to be nice to me that way. More Hellfire. Alright, I think at this point, it's not worth me using any more ethers. Then what? No, down he goes. Down goes Hexdeath. And we have won, because Gallif said we did. That's how awesome Gallif is. And he has freed us all. Including Ferris's very, very uncomed hair. And the crystals go right into X-Death, as he... I assume that's X-Death's back. Kind of a weird-looking sprite, that. And down he goes! D d did we win? Is that the game? Looks like we defeated X-Death now. No, of course it's not. Grandpa! Gallif! No! Come on, get him! Help him! Grandpa Bart! <laughs> Gallif, Gallif, hold on! Yeah, sorry, I read his name even though it was just, uh... What he was saying. No good. Don't have much longer. Gallif, don't say that. Gallif, stand up. Open your eyes. Raina Ferris and Krill get x dead. Grandpa, don't leave me. Don't die. Gallif, cure three. Nobody, only he can use that. Please, raise. Awakey, lava, phoenix down, elixir. Damn it, that's my good stuff. Don't go into that, Stash! If Raze didn't work... Damn it. Down goes Gallif. Gallif's flame flickered out. Grandpa, no! No, you can't die! And down he goes. So now we're a three-man party. Surely it's, it's, it's for the best. Then. Nah, I'll talk to her. How you doing? Not so good? Just pretty, as, pretty much as expected. You got anything to say now? 